Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome to Friday. Well, Friday's a good day. Yeah, Friday's a great day. We're going to, it's uh, Friday also means it's free coaching Friday right here on seven minutes in the morning. Stick around. This is seven minutes in the morning where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Well, well, we'll get all the buttons figured out. Good morning. Uh, welcome, everyone. Glad to have you here this morning. It is Friday. That means this is a free coaching Friday installment of seven minutes in the morning. If you have a question, a comment, or a topic you would like for me to hit, drop that down in the comments, and we will explore that together. While you're down there, go ahead and say hi in your name, where you're watching from. Let me know that you're here, and that applies whether you are watching the show live or whether you're watching the replay. Even if you're watching the replay, I'd love for you to stop by and uh, and say hi. I always like that. It's it's uh, It's interesting to see where all the people come from uh, that watch the show. Okay, so free coaching Friday. We don't have any topics going in the comments there yet, so I'm going to throw one out there for you. Right. The, the question that I want to explore a little bit is um, when, when you are making decisions about your business, Do you make them based on what you want or based on what the customer wants? Come here. Hey. Uh, There she comes. Here's my Friday helper. Say hi. Hi. Okay. All right. Now that that's out of the way. Uh, Do you make your decisions based on uh, what you want or what the customer wants? Oh, look. Antigua and Barbuda. That is awesome. Tazleem, is that how I say that? Good morning to you and good morning to Joe. Thank you for being here. You know, very often I I was reading a post in one of the forums that I frequent this morning and uh, it was a business owner who was having a little bit of difficulty. You know, he'd gotten through the winter. He's in retail, so gotten through the winter. Things were a little bit lean and a little bit of debt. And he's just, you know, trying to figure some things out. And as we kind of discussed through that one of the things that came up was that he had relocated his shop and so well you had good customer flow at the old shop why did you move to the new shop well it was closer to a shopping center okay did you lose any customers yeah i lost some and i actually called them and asked and they said well it was just too far out of the way it's really easy for us to make these kinds of decisions based on the on what we want and in fact, this whole saw about, you know, following your passion, doing what you're passionate about, it's, it's a pretty selfish way to make decisions, right? Now, if, if we can marry up what we enjoy doing, what we're good at, and, and marry that with what the customer wants, now that's perfectly fine. That's okay. In fact, that's what we should do. Um, but at the end of the day, Value is in the eye of the buyer, right? The customer is the one that gets to decide whether what you do is valuable or not. And if our job is to solve problems for other people at a profit, that's what I believe we do as business owners, solve problems for other people at a profit, then we have to consider the other people, what they think their problem is and what they think a valid solution to it is. We might come up with an idea and say, man, this is the best solution ever, but if they don't agree and they're not willing to pay for it, is it really the best solution ever? So always think, as as you're approaching, as you're making these decisions, and and this is tough. I'll give you one more example before we go. Um, I, I had a business owner one time who every day came into the business through the back door. I mean, that makes sense. You know, it was a retail, kind of retail space. Unlocked the back door, came in the back, did a little bit of work, got everything prepped, and then by by that time had an employee there send an employee up to unlock the front door when it was time to open. When I came to visit, I came through the front door. When I came through the front door, 
There was stuff around the door. It was dusty. Kind of smelled bad. Uh, and I said, hey, let's go for a walk. And we walked out the back, and we're walking around the building, and we're just talking, and we come through the front door. As soon as we came through the door, he said, what's that smell? I'm like, exactly. Every once in a while, you have to walk through your front door, the front door where your customer comes. Whether it's an actual door, virtual door, whatever, you have to walk through that process just like a customer with the eyes of a customer. Uh, is it hard? Yeah, of course it's hard, right? But that's why you're doing it, right? If it was easy, anybody could do it. All right, that's it for today. I appreciate you being here. Listen, if you've gotten any value from uh, our conversation today or this week, I would appreciate if you'd give it a thumbs up, a like, a heart, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you're watching. We do have the Instagram stream going this morning and the Facebook stream. And uh, just a reminder, next week we're going to start unpacking this, uh, building the business you need to have the life you crave. That That's that's our theme that we're working with next week. I really encourage you to be here. There's a lot of a lot of fundamental concepts uh, of what we talk about here. We're going to cover one each day next week. So uh, be sure and do that. And um, to do that, if you're in Facebook, you know, follow, like the page, and uh, hit the little notification thing. If you're in Instagram, you can do the same thing. Follow me and hit those post notifications. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for being here. Have a fantastic weekend. Remember to get a little bit of rest to spend time in your important relationships and be ready to hit the ground running again on Monday. I'll be back Monday morning with another brand new installment, 7 minutes in the morning. You guys take care.